All right, an update on my charger. Um, I got a 10 kilowatt open source charger from uh, Electric Motor Works. Um, I was having trouble with the charger getting it to work. Um, I figured that it was probably my mistake since I have limited, you know, knowledge in electronics. These are the boards. This is the uh, driver board, and this is the uh, controller board. These are the ones that I put together. I figure there's probably uh, something wrong with them because they have quite a bit of uh, components in them and I was having trouble following the instructions so what I did I ordered uh, boards already pre-populated and tested by Valerie uh, so they just came today I threw them in my charger very quickly and unfortunately it doesn't work um, so here's uh, here's where I'm at. I I, I ran through the whole uh, I ran through the whole uh, setup uh, sequence that it's got in there, um, and it went fine. I mean, I, I there was a couple mistakes, but eventually I found them, and then you know, uh, eventually I connected the battery, recognized the voltage, the whole thing. It goes into charging. Let me show you here. So right. 220, uh, 88 volts in, 20 amps out, I have it set up 15 amps, timeout zero, I don't know what the timeout is, but here's, so it goes into type 1, charging, whatever that means, max 112, and then it goes into type 2, which is max 4, I think that's probably the 1.5 kilowatt thing that it recognizes on 110, so, and then it just, uh, right away it goes into the charging completed press right button to run again so it's not going into the charging sequence and I have a little um, a little dongle here to to uh, short out the um, the little cables for the BMS and the uh, end of charge system thing that it's got so it turns off once the batteries reach the end of charge or the voltage that you want um, so that doesn't seem to be working I thought that's what it was but it, you know I changed the cable from the one that he sent me to, to mine and it doesn't seem to do the trick so here's the thing um, this is the rectifying section and then that doubles the voltage doubler voltage doubler section of the uh, charger that works um, it's actually putting 330 volts into the E2 and C1 legs of the IGBT um, so the only thing that could be wrong now is in this power board section because these two are tested assembled and tested by you know knowledgeable people um, so the problem is not here the problem is in this board and it's pretty hard to get that board wrong. I mean, it's, it's, there's like, I mean, there's literally like four different types of components uh, in that board, and it's on a, on a PCB, you know? Uh, it's pretty hard to get that wrong. Um, there's like a couple of resistors, five caps, uh, seven caps. They haven't blown in my face, so blown up in my face, so that means I didn't, they're not backwards. Right. The only thing I don't know. Could I have gotten a bad IGVT? Is that such a thing? Is does that happen? Is that possible? I I really don't know where to go from now here. You know, it's like um, I thought this was really gonna do it, and I was gonna be able to get my car driving today, or charge my batteries today, so that I could, you know, move on with my build and start doing some other stuff. Um, but I don't know. We'll see uh, if anybody has uh, any advice out there. Um, I sure appreciate it.